What up, nerds? This is your Supreme Leader, and today I'm going to talk about Geeks and Gamers' video on Megan the Stallion, which I have to say, it was a bit hypocritical and unbiased of him to say these things. So I took the privilege to actually screen record all the videos so I can go ahead and show you guys what he had to say and only proves my point of what I've said previously in my last videos, that people like him are blinded and need to find something for them to hate to make the excuse that the whole thing sucks when in reality it doesn't because they take it too damn serious. Buckle up my fellow nerds because we're going into Geeks and Gamers toxic video. And now he just around creating crazy people. Right, like, right, that's just right, what right, it is. Right, like, yeah. women don't just pop out crazy. Something made them crazy. <laughs> wait, it's <laughs> our fault? That's wait, a bar. wait, wait a minute, that's wait a, a minute. Wait, it's, it's, Valley, men, it's the fault of a man for making a woman crazy. Yes. All right, so just before his video starts, he grabs this piece of segment from the interview. And I know interviews are at least one hour. And I know for a fact that whatever Geeks and Gamers did is that he cut it a part of it. To make it sound like Megan Thee Stallion hates men, but in reality, I feel, I feel 100% that this isn't what completely she said. And is doing this to make sure that when whoever watches the video is like, oh shit, Megan Thee Stallion is a sexist and all that stuff, but it's not. Otherwise, he would have just shown the full clip. And is only doing this just to make sure that, oh, Megan sounds like the ultimate villain in this story. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I knew who Megan the Stallion was before this news broke. I had no idea. But I saw a lot of people talking about the announcement of her being added to She-Hulk and into the cast. So a lot of people were talking about it. I was curious who she was. And I found out. And it works perfectly for this show. Because as you know, this show has nothing more than a feminist agenda. And there it is again. Geeks and Gamers back with his mumbo jumbo again. Feminist agenda and all that stuff, man. Even though in movies, TV shows, etc., they got a lot of political messages and agendas and everything. So why be a little drama queen about it, man? That is meant to disrespect men. That's what it's all about. And it's obvious. It's obvious for anyone with a working brain and the slightest bit of common sense. And even women are out there calling all of this out. But of course, those women, they're not going to get acknowledged because, of course, why would you acknowledge something that goes against the very narrative that you're trying to create? That would be a bad thing. So let's continue to just pretend that it's just a bunch of angry men that are upset with this show or that don't like it. Because that You want to know what's very ironic about that last part that he said? It is true. I mean, you could go ahead and look on YouTube and just put She-Hulk and you're going to see a lot of negative reviews and most of them are going to be men right there and this doofus included as well. And as for the part for the women, please, somebody tell me, what exactly is that women complained about the show? Because as far as I'm concerned, all I've ever heard is dudes cry out. Women, not too many. That always works out perfectly well. Hello, Charlie's Angels. Great job on that film. But who is Megan the Stallion and why is she being added to She-Hulk? It's so funny how he overcomplicates everything, you know? He doesn't know why Megan the Stallion is in the MCU. Does it ever come to your mind that maybe she's in the MCU because maybe she's a Marvel fan herself? Now, of course, we're being told by the people that want to defend She-Hulk that there's no narrative, there's no disrespect, there's no feminist agenda, there's no anti-man agenda. We continue to hear that over and over and over again. You know what's funny to me about all this is that if he's so fed up with all these supposedly things that are going on, why is he still continue to torture himself and torturing his fans by watching it? Because, of course, it's absolutely true, and they don't want to admit that. So who's Megan the Stallion? So I checked it out. This is an article over on Complex back in 2021. Megan the Stallion on making men uncomfortable. I feel like that's my job. Well, Megan, congratulations on being on She-Hulk. This is the perfect show for you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to go a little deep on this, so please forgive me for my harsh language because I'm about to go in. All right, so he already is starting off on a very negative way. And the way he said it is just wrong, everything he said there. And it's the equivalent of saying, haha, you're fucking stuck in the MCU. Buzz off, you woman. He does it in a way to shade her, to shade Megan. Like, who the fuck does that? That would have been you. You wouldn't be bitching and complaining. 
hey, not everyone's going to be offered an opportunity. And Megan took it. Who wouldn't? I would. And he does this to shade Megan the Stallion and to make her image look bad. So that whoever watches his video, they could be all negative and then could go after Megan the Stallion and be like, oh, you a fucking bitch and everything. So that then they go after the fans. See, it's a, it's a, it's like a chain reaction. He, he knows what he's doing. He does this every freaking time. And then he talks about the article, something that came out a year ago. I ain't no rocket scientist or anything, but I know for a fact that in one year, things change. People's mentalities change. Megan's could have been changed as well. Maybe she doesn't think like that anymore. Maybe she does. Who cares? But the point of all that I'm saying is that he's doing this to make Megan look like a terrible woman. And to make matters worse is that he took a 10 second clip from a one hour interview. So that means there could have been more things that Megan said at the very end of that line at the beginning of his video that geeks and gamers didn't want to show because then it wouldn't bring in views and nobody wants positive videos. They want negative videos and that's what he wants. And since he wants to play the agenda game, I could play that game too as well. And I think his agenda is to make sure that fans don't enjoy the things they love anymore. That the things that once loved and cherished for many, many years can feel guilty and shame for liking a franchise. So then they could jump on that bandwagon of hate and now go and make fun of other people and other fans for enjoying something that they once cherished. It shouldn't be a bad thing to like a movie or a TV show because of a certain narrative that it has, even though it's been done in the past. So please, geeks and gamers, continue to enlighten us with your constant nagging and negativity. Please continue to talk. The perfect show. Now, we're told none of this stuff is happening on the show, but they just go out of their way to hire someone who says her job is to make men feel uncomfortable. Um, Megan the Stallion admits that she can make men feel uncomfortable, and she's 100% okay with that. I'm starting to see how much more ignorant men are than I thought. She said in a recent interview with The Evening Standard. Mm -hmm. Now, Again, as I always have to uh, clarify and qualify, I don't have a problem with anyone making these statements in isolation. These statements don't bother me. Bullshit. What a load of crap that comes out of his mouth. Nothing offends me in isolation. My problem is the double standard. The double standard. Okay? So her saying that, her saying what she's saying about men and generalizing men, okay? That is the same exact thing that we have seen people get destroyed over on social media. We've uh, we've been... You know what? I think he's absolutely right about that. And that we can agree. Well, that is until he says this. Seeing people... Andrew Tate, for instance, just got universally banned from, you know, all the major platforms. And the overriding thing was that he had misogynistic views and opinions. Now, I don't know much about Andrew Tate, but I have watched a lot of his stuff in the last few weeks because his name just blew up. And I think he's damn entertaining. And now he's over on Rumble and he's crushing it on Rumble. Why am I not surprised that he is entertained by Andrew Tate? I wouldn't be surprised if somewhere back there in his room, he has a poster of Andrew Tate there. Show us that poster, geeks. Come on, let's see it. The point here is these same people wanted Andrew Tate gone because he might have said something that hurt their feelings. Yo, it's because Andrew Tate's a fucking idiot. That's why they banned his ass. But they did, unfortunately. Oh, well. And they claim that you can't disrespect women like that. She just sit here and said, I'm starting to see much uh, uh, see how much more ignorant men are than I thought. When you're a woman who's not a threat, men don't really bother you. Men like the damsel in distress type of role, and that's not me. I feel like that's what kind of gets under a lot of men's skin. Like, how dare she talk about her, you know what? She loves herself, and she don't need me, and she's just going to take my money. I just feel like I make a lot of them uncomfortable, and I feel like that's my job. Again. I have no problem with her comments in isolation. Then that would explain why you have Megan in the thumbnail of your video. So that kind of says that you have something against her. Otherwise, you wouldn't have said what you said a couple minutes ago. Whether you overreacted or not, but shading is shading. 
but she can say the same exact thing in reverse and that's okay. And it should be okay. What she says should be fine. She should be able to allow to say whatever she wants. And so should Andrew Tate. He does make a really good point right there. But it doesn't excuse the fact that you were low-key shading her so... And anybody else on the internet for that fact. But that's not the world we live in. And that's what I call out all the time. The hypocrisy and the double standard. And the fake offended crowd out there that will pretend to be offended over whatever the mainstream tells them to be, be offended. I am CM Punk and I am the voice of the voiceless. And you will apologize and you will like it. Yeah, he was getting very passionate about what he was saying and all that, that I thought I was listening to CM Punk, but even we know that he's full of crap too. And that's what happens. So no, in a perfect world, which will never exist, but in a realistic world, she should be able to allow to say whatever she wants. And so should I, and so should you, and so should everyone. But that's not the realistic world we live in. Because we live in a world where... Everybody wants to pretend to be offended over whatever the narrative tells them to be offended over. Yeah. It's like looking at a mirror, isn't it, huh? Oh, but please continue to lecture us. She-Hulk is trash. It's a bad show. Of course it is. That's what you say about every other show. And everything that we have said that it is guilty of, they're confirming it by hiring someone who says... It's her job to make men feel uncomfortable. Imagine if a newly hired person on a Marvel show said it's my job to make women feel uncomfortable. Yeah, I agree with you on that part, but here's the thing, though. Here's where you lost me. You are lacking of information because that was something from one year ago. And the only source that you have is a 10-second clip in the beginning of your video that you took from a one hour interview, you're gonna have to provide more context to that because I ain't buying it. How would that go over? That person would never work again. Of course they wouldn't because of the double standard. Oh, the irony of that last statement that you said. It's like I said, it's like looking at a mirror, isn't it? Because as much as he wants to expose these people, expose these companies, he doesn't realize that he sounds just like a bigger phony like everyone else. And all because it was all blown out of proportion. That's what the whole video is all about. Of an article of yesterday's news. And a clip from an interview that probably was last year's as well. Or this year. Correct me if I'm wrong. But who cares? The past is in the past. It's like what I've said in the past about him. He still has that hate boner. You know, and every time he sees things like this, he's going to find a, an excuse to make a 5 to 10 minute video about how terrible a movie or a TV show is. When in reality, it isn't. Who knows? But it's a repeated cycle. And for me, it's quite hilarious and funny because, you know, I can make fun of him and I could get away with it, you know. And it's just as entertaining as Andrew Tate, so I can make fun of these bozos all I want. Because at the end, at YouTube, everybody in some way or form, we all ride in each other, baby. And lastly, all of this was just to put Megan under the bus so that he could be as the shiny white knight. With the smile on his face saying, what's wrong with society and everything, you know. But the way he portrayed it, the way the video and the way he laid it out is to make her look like her. I mean, you can look at the thumbnail yourself. You have Beyonce as She-Hulk and then you have She-Hulk every day. You guys get it. You guys get the way he promotes and gets the word out. He does it in a way to promote negativity and hatred in the fandoms. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. And this is where I'm going to conclude my video for today. Thank you all for watching. Have any requests of who should I react let me know in the comments section down below if you got something to say. I want to hear your comments. Until next time, this is your supreme leader. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. I don't care if these bitches don't like me. Cause like, I'm pretty as fuck. <laughs> Just the other day, I heard a hoe say, matter of fact, what could a hoe say? With a face like this and a bitch this pay? Shit, what could a hoe say? The bag so expensive, my pussy came with it. Body so nice, they be saying who did it. 